You got a paper with an address. Well, that's cool. Oh! Son of a bitch! I was going to board. My name is Swingpoint, and this is another episode of The Crooked Man. In this episode, things get really weird really quick, and it makes David want to go figure out what the heck is going on. So we go on a field trip. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Little girl? It sounds like a little girl. She Hello? Where am I even going to look for a little girl? Of course there's no kids here. I, I must just be getting tired. You were sleeping! Is it aren't- Dun -dun -dun. Something broke in here. Maybe. Wash bay. Why is there nothing in here? Oh, this fell. It's just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Why? Why would it just walk off the table though? Wait, wait what? Help me! What? I don't want to help you. No. Oh god, the coffee says you got it. You got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, you gotta this room really, really is strange. With the voices, and the TV turning on, and the crying, and the help me, and the coffee, and the phone, and the bed, and the God! What is this? The uh, Phone sounds different. Am I dialing? Uh, hi, Paul. This is David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was- I was- I was up all last night. I just gotta ask you something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, it seems like she forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor, I'll go see what she knows. Like, it's so quiet, so much of the time. And then those random poof noises that just come out of nowhere really catch me off guard. I'm a really jumpy guy, especially with sound. Far left. Why is there a crack down here? Well, let's try this room out, right? Landlady. Hello, oh, Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Oh, good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see? About the room I'm in, can you, can you tell me about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what's that boy's name? I believe it was a man about your age. He left suddenly about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You would know how where he went, right? I never heard that, no. He really just up and left out of the blue. He probably left because of all the creepy stuff that was going on. So maybe the previous tenant isn't why these things are happening. Maybe he experienced it and was like, no! Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenant if you like. No, there's no- Why do you- Why are you saying no, David? No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. WHY DO YOU NOT WANT TO KNOW?! Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I guess I'll get back to my room. Ba -na 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 -na. Who's that? Who should put that the footsteps there? David, do you not have anything to say about this? You're just accepting for what it is because it caught me off guard. I didn't put that there. I definitely didn't put it in the crack. The TV, it either looks like the TV had diarrhea and like just kind of smeared his butt over here or something's coming out of the crack. Crack? No, what did it say? Is there something in this crack? I got a, bra a brass key. What? This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Why is there a key in your crack? The guy's voice, the kid's voice, is the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee, the stuff under your bed, the stuff under the sink, I remember it all! It seems like there's a poltergeist or something. I would not be surprised if there's some sort of ghost haunting your place, which is probably why the guy left before. But I would have thought the landlady would have mentioned that kind of thing. Why would she mention that? She wants your money! What's going on here? Not that I'd care if ghosts were here, I just, I wouldn't much care if they haunted and killed me either. Ooh, David is pretty depressed. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen to him while he was here? Not much use thinking about it, I'll, I'll call it a day. Oh, hello. What?! Why is the TV on?! Why- where's that coming from?! Inside the house?! Okay, for some reason I can't interact with the TV, which is really messing with me, because I don't know what else to be making that noise. Is there a radio somewhere? Ah, oh, came from in here? What?! Don't scare me! Radio, what? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turn it on by itself. Mmm, 
there's something on this paper here. It's an address. <laughs> Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Well, that's cool. <laughs> oh! Son of a bitch! I'm waiting for you! Wow, well, it's so loud, man! God, man! Dooba, booga, blurba, but don't swear, I'm waiting for you! What? Why did. How? And when did it. Uh... Oh, it's so loud. Wow! Ah! <laughs> the text scared me. <laughs> so David just booked it out of here. Well, if he's waiting for me, where's he waiting? Oh, and he's gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, it's Patrick. Paul. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. <laughs> hey, why you? Ah, just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright, well, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. You're really not gonna tell him what you saw, or you just think he's gonna think you're crazy, David? Hey, you making fun of me? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing, I told her off for that. Oh, don't, don't worry about it, it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is, I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on, and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in a hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran away from me, so... Shirley is his ex-girlfriend, aha! Maybe fiancé. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you're gonna get your own personal rain cloud. Oh, well, I better be careful. Oh, so I'm gonna go on a little trip, don't wanna waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea, where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about, I'll, I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. So I'm- Oh, it's Marion! I'm guessing the place he's talking about is wherever- wherever the address is. He's not going on an actual vacation. Breakfast is ready, Paul! David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll, I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. Wow. That was useless. What was the point of that conversation? Just to tell Paul you're leaving? There! Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five hour drive. Ser Seriously, why would he- why wouldn't you tell Paul? Like, what- mm, whatever guy. Uh, he's- David doesn't seem that smart, I'm gonna call him David. David. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room, maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. You're asking for trouble, David. Just go to this random address after everything else has been conveniently placed in your apartment. Do you really think it's a good idea? Prologue, David's room. End. Oh, so that was the prologue. Oh, okay. On the road again. I just can't wait to get back on that road again. <laughs> Are we in the middle of the mountains now? Is this the place? Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll have to check. Let's read this, huh? A faded board. Hotel Ruinheim? Giving you a serene stay. Whatever that means. Well, let's go inside the hotel, guys. Oh, wow. Man, these doors have no resistance. You just go barging into the place. I am- I just got done with work- Oh, I'm going places. Aha! Uh -huh. I just got done with work today. So my head is just tired. And it's making it It's locked. It's making it hard to commentate, so I'm probably going to be staff only. There's a wire around the doorknob. Probably a lot more jumpy. And my brains is probably not gonna work as well when I'm reading, so you're gonna see me cut a lot when I when I try reading. A grand piano. Today's program. Schubert's three piano pieces. Piano's not gonna start playing? No? Not gonna pull that one on me? It's completely dark out. The clock stopped. Ooh, what are you? A mounted deer. Where am I going? Seeing as how nothing's going on right now, I'll share the holidays with you today. Today's holiday is International Sushi Day. So, in the comments down below, tell me if you like sushi. Have you ever tried it? Or are you one of those people who's like, "Ew, sushi, and they've never actually put it in their mouth? I know a ton of people like that. Can I go in here? Staff only. It's locked with a passcode. I don't have a passcode. It's locked. Today is also- The keyhole is painted over. It won't open. Today is- That's really weird. That's really weird. Why? Why would you do that? Anyway, today- 
is also International Picnic Day. This is what I'm treasure hunt. Dear Mom and Dad, me. Oh, wait a second. This is probably a puzzle I need to figure out. There's a little crown on one of those brooms. So maybe that's where I gotta go. Maybe. Treasure hunt? I guess some kid staying here drew this. Huh, sure, I'll go look for your treasure. No! Don't look for the treasure in the abandoned hotel! Have you not- has that not registered that everything's broken in this place? Like, why would- David's so stupid! God! Seriously, hotel, no lock, no clerk, nobody in any room. You're not- and uh, with all these other papers that have just been conveniently placed everywhere, what makes you think that this treasure hunt is actually a good idea, huh? Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that David lives in 20-something. And I bet you this brass key gets you into one of these rooms. We finally- oh! Jesus! God! It's so not that big a deal when you're watching it on YouTube, but when it just goes poof into your ear hole, oh my god, it just makes you go ah! a little bit inside. So I apologize for the breaking mirror. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. I found a notebook scrap, but what does it say? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room where there's a big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's the same thing. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. Well, if he's still here... So he got dumped, huh? <laughs> the note at home did mention that. In our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Well, wherever he is, I don't think he wants to be disturbed. D did you not get that vibe, David? No? No? Nothing? Nothing made you hope, hmm, maybe I actually, maybe he doesn't want a visitor. No? You're just gonna be obnoxious and go find him anyway? Sure, why not? Door's locked and there's a notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience, but I have a key! Oh, I found something. God, it was just hiding from me. I didn't think I was gonna have to touch all these tables. Okay, eh? Something under the table. I found a gold key. Well, now- Oh, duh, so it's not- Oh, uh, God, I should have thought about the paper. This is totally the same room. There's a paper beside it. Congrats, you found the treasure. Aha. Uh -huh. So, now that my dumb brain, which is very tired right now, has actually gotten somewhere, I'm going to use this gold key to get into something. Let me in! Ah! Use the gold key. Yeah! Ooh, what's gonna scare me this time? Ooh, look at this key. Give me that. A key. <laughs> Got the key to 109. Perfect. Now, what's this? Cry of the unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that, it's decided in the unconscious. Even if you were to believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, but they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. Okay, what does this say? The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Hello. Oh, what was that sound? Hello. 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 Uh, 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 it's a, there's a shadow here. Do you see that? It, it's dark right there. Why is it dark right? What? Hello? Make a noise again. Make a noise again. Is someone there? Hello? I feel like there's something in that room I need to look at before I go check this out. Okay, never mind. I didn't find anything in the bathroom. The, the, the library. Let's just keep going. Where's the noise? Where's the noise? Where's the noise? 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 Why do you want to look around a little bit more? Did you not just hear what happened? I got the key to 109, right? Yeah, so that should be right. Huh? Aha! I unlocked the door. Ooh, it's sparkly. Is it just a really shiny armoire? Is that what those are called? Is this a really shiny armoire? Or is there something on top of it? Aha! There is something on top. Well, let's be smart about this and climb or push a chair or something. Aha! Look at that! You can tell I've played a game or two on this goddamn PC system thingy. Now I can get what's on the dresser. Oh yeah, that would have took me like a half hour to figure out if this is my first RPG Maker game. That is experience right there. Mm -hmm. I am no longer wet behind the ears. I am a pro. I know how to react to these RPG Maker horror games because... I can move. 
Why can I move? Why can I move? What is this? Hello? Hello? I know there's a piano up here. Are you talking? Ah! Who are you? Who's there? Oh god! No, 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 Hello? Hello? Good night, done this episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. In the next episode, we meet the Crooked Man, and he doesn't he doesn't have a very good first impression. He's kind of creepy. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That way, you can be up to date with the videos as I release them. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Meow. Come here. Leave. Woo. Ah. Woo. Woo. This is another RPG Maker horror game, The Crooked Man. There's no ending music, so let's get started.